Hey everybody, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. I'm going to try to give you a quick overview of um, using Linux with Redis. I'm going to assume that you have some decent knowledge in Redis on the command line, <coughs> knowing what to run. Um, specifically, I'll be focusing on Ubuntu. Uh, so if you come to this website here, uh, you'll get all the necessary instructions to install Redis. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, let me see here. Uh, right here, you just got to make sure you have the latest updates. Uh, you just do an apt get install Redis server. Now, one thing I want you to know when you install it, you're going to get Redis 2.8, and I'm currently running on uh, Ubuntu 14.1. So that's the version you'll get installed, okay? The current version is at least 3.0, and if you want the failover redundancy, you have to make sure you get up, uh, updated to 3.0. But I'm just doing this for very simple tests for connectivity, and that's it. So made notes of that. Also, when you're using your uh, client, uh, either for C or C++, there's various choices you can choose. Uh, in my case, right now, I'm just using C as a client. You can use High Redis, which is probably more up to date. Uh, here, which is written by the actual authors of um, the um, Redis itself, Salvatore, and so again, Peter, they wrote this library. Um, in my case, I went with a much simpler uh, library called uh, this one right here called C Redis. It's very simple. I'll uh, show you that in a second. Um, it's actually a uh, hosted on, um, on Google Code. So to install it, when you come to that uh, link here, um, this one, uh, make sure when you run this right here to install it on your uh, on your uh, Linux uh, in your terminal. What you need to ensure is you've got Subversion installed because so, you're using this SVN here so make sure you have a Subversion installed uh, and you can install it by running this uh, command here Subversion okay so that will enable you to basically run C Redis now this is where it gets quite good just hop into my Linux now okay so when you install your um, Redis server, it will get installed here on default in user bin. Okay, so if you look for Redis, oops, uh, any Redis files, you have the Redis server right here, which you'll run. Like that. Okay, so there's your Here's the 2.84 that's currently installed. We break it. And then um, on the other end is you have your Redis client. Uh, client. Just to test the uh, connectivity, you'll see if I try to run Redis client, which is the basically the Redis client, uh, it's going to try to connect to the server. So you need to ensure your Redis is running. So when I run it, Launch it. You can see now it's uh, connected into the um, Redis server. So if I go ping, you get a pong. So that means that you are now connected into the Redis server. Okay, so if I break the Redis server again, now what I'm going to do is I have my uh, C Redis test, uh, which you basically build, which is uh, following your uh, command to install it is the, the C Redis client for C uh, applications as an example of the library. You basically, all I have to do is uh, install it, like, as I said here, and um, when you do a make, you'll use this make file right here. 
uh, and I'll build these on their bin files and SO object files. All right, so let's run. So right now our Redis server is not working. So if I try to run it, it'll get refused no different than with the Redis client. Uh, I heard C Redis. Okay, so if I go C Redis test, see it says connection failed right here. Okay, but if I relaunch my Redis client or my Redis server, now it's working because it's saying, okay, it failed. Uh, but it is connecting and staying connected, okay. So uh, the next step is to actually put the same code in the C Redis uh, into my Simulink model and making sure that that generated code from my Simulink model can also be connected to Redis, the server instance as we see here. Um, once we do that, I'll prove that we can now, not just uh, the previous video demos that uh, have of generating C code, but now we have the ability to take that C code and, 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 and write up uh, some client code for Redis and connect into a Redis instance from there, then be able to um, use Redis features to be able to generate a way to push data or receive data from a feed or whatnot into that trading model generated by Simulink through auto code generation. So hang out for that.